Sundays when there's not an event, I like to do this thing where we compare markets with card market and with TCG player. That way you guys can kind of see some of the changes in the market. Definitely, we're evolving the Euro market watch over time. And I think it's a good concept to see where the markets stand on both sides. Um, I know Europe, you guys want more in-depth uh, discussions on your market, but there's only so much that I can cover. So this is another edition of your lovely Euro watch. Let's dig on into this, shall we? All right, what is up YouTube? I'm 40 welcome to a special market watch. We're gonna be comparing prices across Europe and in the TCG, that way you guys are gonna kind of see things on both sides of the radar. So, special edition is out in circulation, and the Battle Shogun coming in at $2 plus shipping, which isn't terrible. Scrap Wyvern coming in at $1.67, which is also not terrible. And then the 25 cent beautiful Dragon Maid send off. But that's that. Now, Europe, you're literally looking at about the same thing post shipping. Because most of these are all going to be about two apiece here. Those fresh English copies here at one euro apiece. So yeah, you're looking about the same for these guys. And Scrap Wyvern here, a lot of people were talking about this card having a giant splash on the metagame. People were excited to see you know, the potential for this and the refrigerator. And this card just kind of came out. People first were like, all right, and then it just, it's gone under the radar. And it's kind of sad, but same thing, you're looking at about two euro piece post shipping for this, depending on whichever copies you want. Now, the rest of the set here. So remember, Prismatics are only available in the beautiful first edition. And you're going to be crying yourself to sleep over these. So, still at 490. Artahata 107, finally creeping down a little bit. 85 on the Pyro. And still 70 on Gorgon. Regular IPs, we're still at a ridiculous price tag with these. I wish that these would calm down so that, you know, the average player base could pick these up. But we're sitting at $36 on Unlim. And then, ironically enough, after this listing, we're up to 38 on these. <laughs> we'll talk more about that in a bit here. And then still 30s on Safe Warts. And Abomination Prisons at 16s. Yikes. Unlimited printing didn't really do anything for this set. It's kind of weird. Now, on over to Europe here. Okay, so we're sitting at about 490 USD. Um, seeing a lot of 450 here in these categories, which is literally about the same thing. Uh, basically, from here up, you got English copies here. Um, we're looking at about solid 497 depending on what you're looking for. And that's just for Mascarena. Like, it's actually cheaper to buy it in America than to buy a European copy the way it looks right now. Uh, Pyro Phoenix. Um, these are what? 85, about 85 euro here with English er, copies in between. Actually, this is more expensive in Europe. It's like 94 bucks there. Huh, well. Uh, Gorgon, <laughs> literally. 80 euro. I also, these are also more expensive there. Why are all of... It's like $89 plus shipping. Like, no thank you. Uh, Unchained Abomination or Uda Arahara. So literally, this is 108 in America. And then literally, you just go all the way up here, pick your language that you want, and you're... This is how much you're paying less than the American market. Um, that's actually pretty crazy good. If you ask me. Now IP. Um, actually this is way cheaper. In Europe. <laughs> so America's like $37. Euro you're looking at 25. Translated plus shipping. Regular IP is. Cheaper in Europe. That actually says something. About their market. Good job you're literally saving like 12 bucks right now. Car market. Um, if you're on that side of the market. Wanting to pick one of these up. That's not bad. Alright. We take those. Star Leech. Oh yeah, way cheaper in Europe. Same thing, looking at like 25 translated here on all of these copies across the board. Meanwhile, America, you got that fresh $30 price tag as you were seeing earlier. Like, why are we paying this? So there's that. Abomination, um, these are about the same. 
12 is about 14 to 15. That's about what we're going for here. Close enough. All right, OTS 12. What is the European market got to say about this? I'm seeing a lot of 65 here on these, which it's 72 bucks on Twin Twister translated. All right, that's way more fair than the hundred and some dollars that we were seeing from these just a couple of days ago. Like, good job, Europe. All right, Judgment. Hmm. Judgment's looking like they're 60 euro a piece. All the, all the German copies in the world. I'm, f I'd, I'd go with about 65 here. Then about 70, 72, 65, depending on where you're going. The chunk of German copies here though is pretty insane. But Judgments, both of them, they're they're very cheap over there. That, that's good to know because I think the American market. Is going to go a little bit lower than this especially if we're like seeing 50 to 70 range already um it's just a very good indicator that things will balance out when we finally get to this side of things now levianir actually these are pretty expensive uh you're literally looking at about 55 bucks on this guy hmm all right europe i feel you this is a bit more expensive than i'd want to pay but all right see monster theseus okay cool so Raging Tempest copies, I'm in at about fives at the moment. You're looking at like dollar fifties, basically two bucks on other copies here. Uh, 2017 Megatons in Europe, literally 50, 50, 50, 50. Like, you're, you're paying about this translated across the border, depending on what you're looking for. And then they didn't feel the, the hype for uh, the Raging Tempest copy like we did. This car got bought out in America. It's literally 120 euro over there. Like, I'm glad to see that Cecius didn't feel any uh, buyouts there. All right, tournament pack two. Now, for those of you that are wondering about this, this is the speed duel pack. And the prices for this all across both locks of life are pretty insane. Um, considering how everything is going here for this. So, all right, so Swordswoman's are looking at 61 shipped in America. Uh, Fortress Whale's at literally 90 bucks. I don't know why. King of the School Servants, of course, is bought out because it's literally the best deck right now in Speed Duel next to a couple things. Serpentite Dragon, I see 66. Then we go up to 80. Perfectly Ultimate Great Month is at 25. And Barrel Dragon is at 20 right now. And then you just kind of dip down into uh, the little peanut gallery, as I'm going to say here. So, Serpent Eye Dragon over here, 45 euro. Um, literally. Um, it's like 45, 47, 50, 58, um, depending on your copies. But nobody's going to pay that for a Serpent Knight Dragon. King of the School Servants? Hmm. So this card is bought out straight in America. And I look here, I'll be like, all right, so I, I went foreign copies. Save as bet's 40 euro a piece, um, which is 45. Come back on over here to America, 85 bucks. No thanks. I, I, I will not take that. Fortress Whale, 100 bucks in America here. Um, I'm seeing 35. And then you've got plenty of uh, Italian copies in the market for 45 euro. Which is coming in about 48 USD. And then uh, we kind of trickle on up. Uh, English copies on these are matching about the same. I get that, but it's not what I'm looking for. Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth, uh, 25. This card actually syncs up with our market, which is kind of interesting. Uh, Amazon Swordswoman, it's like 60 bucks here for no reason. Meanwhile, you know, plenty of uh, German copies in the market here. German, German, Italian, like 30 to 40 euro is what you're paying. It's still cheaper than ours. And then Barrel Dragon, okay. 20 bucks, 24, 25. Like, look at this is pretty, pretty up there for this guy. I'm sorry, it's like 20 here. Like, no thanks. Um, all right, a couple hot things that Nick J. Lloyd told me to uh, look up. Um, just little commodities and hot items on both sides here. So, Forbidden Chalice is. Uh, first editions, light plays 32s, um, and then no near mints on the market. But then we come over here to this. Now, 
I, I see on them here for like 12, which is ugh, no thank you. And we got to start digging down here. So one first edition, no thank you. I, I see plenty of first edition tiny copies of 30s. Uh, there's no near mint on the market right now. Oh, excuse me, right here. We're gonna have 40 euro a piece. We're coming about 45 bucks, depending. It's pretty expensive for these guys. Um, Solemn Strikes. So, near mint, $85. Come on over here to uh, Europe for their hot alties. Uh, literally 75. You're looking at pretty much about the same price tag I'm seeing here on both of these. That's a hot commodity. Oh, Into the Void, my favorite. So, 17 and 18 on these, okay, respectively. Uh, oh, cool, so yeah, these are still cheaper over yonder. About 12 euro, about 14 bucks. It 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 doesn't sink it sinks about up i get like all these mod copies here and then we start trickling on up they're about the same for all intents and purposes and then speed duel um the last new set the trial of the kingdom so floodgate 10 bucks parasite paranoid and then 10 bucks time machine 10 coon of evolutions three bucks haunted shrine coming in at six okay and then Yield Maiden, or Mag Magician of Black Chaos, like three bucks. And then Don's Luke at three. And then over here, European side, 12 bucks, uh, or 12 euro each on Floodgates. Way more there than here, actually. Haunted Shrine. Ooh. So I'm going to about seven on these. Okay. Parasite Paranoid. About seven euro as well. No, thank you. Switcheroo. Look at seven. Time Machine, six. Ugh. Cocoon of Evolution, the skills, six, seven bucks. Donnie, looking at six euro. And then the Sphere Karibo, evident. Uh, Speed Duel Trial of the Kings over there. I see five euro. Did we end up getting a reprint of this in ours? Huh, I don't actually see that over here. Huh. Let's check. <laughs> yeah. Arena Lost Souls. Advent Calendar. Dimension. Legendary Duelist. LOL. Huh. Why is Sphere Karibo listed in the Speed Duel Trial of the Kingdom for Europe? Hmm. That's interesting. They're like six piece there. Hmm. Alright. Well, that's all I got for this Mark Watch, guys. Please leave a comment below. Tell me what you guys think. And well, catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out. The ride never truly ends. Thank you, patrons, for helping support the channel. Without you guys, I don't know if I'd still be doing this. And for those of you that like Card Fight Vanguard, Bankle40 is here for all your content needs. And for those of you asking if I sell cards, mcoolgames.com for all your trading card game needs. Check the description for more interesting info. Thanks for watching, guys.